Non-stop leaks is all that we've been getting over the past few weeks that all but confirmed that Apple will be hosting a huge event at the end of this month, including confirmation that the Russian M4 MacBook Pro leak was fully legitimate, as well as other indicators and pieces of evidence that point to exactly what to expect at this event. And yes, Apple just press release updated the iPad mini 7, which makes it seem like there won't be an event, but I think it's because they want the entire event to focus on M4 Mac products only, just like they did last year for their October 30th event. So before I jump into the four new Macs we should expect at this upcoming event, I have to go through all of the latest leaks that happened over the past couple of months. It all started back in August when Mark Gurman revealed exclusive info on four new Mac models, all with M4 chips, before mentioning that he expect these new Macs to launch in October. Then in September, he got exclusive information about the upcoming M4 Mac Mini, including details about its full redesign, and then finally on October 1st, he revealed that Apple is targeting a November 1st launch for the new M4 Max, which is perfect timing because we can have an event at the end of October. And then we got the craziest leak of all. Two Russian YouTubers got their hands on the new M4 MacBook Pro and revealed everything, but most importantly, they showed off the About This Mac page, which revealed that it's a November 2024 model. And then finally, just the other day, he said he is certain that these leaked machines are the real deal, which confirms that there must be an event in late October. Now, some of you will say that Apple is simply gonna do a press release update like they do for some new product launches, but I can personally guarantee you that they won't this time around. So let me explain why by getting into the first major product, the redesigned Mac Mini. This new M4 Mac Mini is by far gonna be the most interesting and exciting thing out of this entire event because Mark Gurman leaked the redesign details saying it's gonna be basically half the size, almost as small as an Apple TV, which is tiny. He also said there's gonna be an internal power brick, Ethernet, HDMI, and five USB-C ports, two on the front, three on the back, and those three are gonna have Thunderbolt support. Now, the main reason why I believe there must be an Apple event is because Apple always has events when they have new product redesigns, especially ones like this, because the Mac Mini has not been redesigned in over 14 years, and people need to see and hear about this instead of just having a crappy press release update. But the performance of this is gonna be insane because the current Mac Mini comes with the M2 or the M2 Pro, so jumping all the way up to the M4, an M4 Pro is gonna be absolutely nuts, especially since the Mac mini is always priced very low. I mean, this is just gonna be such a killer update. But overall, it's gonna be by far the most exciting. And with that said, let's get into the second major product. We have the M4 MacBook Pro base model, which we know a ton about, seeing as they were leaked into Russia, revealing the biggest jump in performance that we've ever had since the original M1 MacBook Pro. Now, don't feel like you need to upgrade to the new M4 MacBook Pro because chances are your current Mac might just feel slow because it's clogged up with junk, taking up all your storage or using up all of your memory. But thankfully, Clean My Mac just got the biggest redesign ever, now faster, smoother, easier to use, and it removes up to 27% more junk. All it takes is one click on the scan button and it'll clean up your junk, scan for threats, optimize performance, check your vital app updates, and declutter your storage. No need to go digging through all the confusing system settings as Clean My Mac lets you review everything before it removes it, like instantly removing the annoying old apps that start up every time I turn on my Mac or removing duplicate or old files that take up all your storage. And the new assistant feature makes it so easy to get recommendations on how to fix your slow performing Mac. So download Clean My Mac today for a free seven day trial using the link in the description and pinned comment below. Now getting back to the base model 14 inch M4 MacBook Pro, here's exactly what you should expect. First of all, the Russians confirmed that this model will now finally be getting a third Thunderbolt port, which makes sense because the M4 chip itself on the die now has double the Thunderbolt controllers. We're also getting awesome display support, supporting two external displays while using the main display. But apart from that, they've confirmed that 
we don't really get any design changes. Yes, we do get the space black finish, but there are no other changes in terms of the design. But the big thing is the performance because for the first time ever, we are finally getting 16 gigabytes of base RAM. This is gonna be the thing that sells people on this upgrade. And in terms of performance, this is actually the biggest jump ever since the original M1 chip. For example, we're getting 23% faster single core performance, 27% multi-core performance, mainly because we're getting two extra E cores, which is helping with that performance. We're getting 17.4% faster graphics performance with the same 10 cores, which is really cool since Apple usually likes to add more cores to kind of make up for the smaller architectural differences, but this year we're getting a lot of extra architectural improvements, and also we're getting a faster neural engine, 57% faster than the M3, so we are getting a lot better performance. I mean, this is gonna be crazy good. For example, multi-core is almost as fast as the M3 Pro chip, the 12-core unbinned model, which is just nuts, so this is very exciting. And now let's get into major update number three, the M4 iMac, and this is probably gonna be the smallest update out of the entire lineup because there are no design changes expected whatsoever. So the big thing this year is going to be the M4 chip. Now this one might also be the one model that gets an 8-core CPU and 8-core GPU, but we are not sure if it's going to be this one or the Mac Mini just yet. Another big deal is 16 gigs of RAM. That's also going to be a big update for people who are worried about multitasking or potential performance. But other than the chip, we're not really expecting much, to be honest. We might get a new Magic Mouse, Magic Keyboard with a USB-C port. But other than that, we shouldn't really expect anything else for this new iMac. Next up for number four, we have the 14 and 16 inch high-end MacBook Pros with the M4 Pro and M4 Max chips. These machines are likely not getting any physical or design differences at all. No display differences, nothing, but we are getting those new chips. So in terms of performance, both the M4 Pro and M4 Max will hit around 3,900 or even close to 4,000 in terms of single core performance in Geekbench 6. The M4 Pro will likely be 25% faster in multi-core performance. The M4 Max chip is gonna be going up to 18 cores, but it's only gonna be around 15% faster in multi-core since this test suffers from diminishing returns when you have a lot of cores, which these chips do. Now in terms of graphics, the M4 Pro will likely go up to 20 GPU cores and will score over 100,000 points in Geekbench Metal's graphics test. And the M4 Max will score over 180,000, which is just nuts. Now in terms of the actual general features and design, don't expect display technology upgrades like OLED. That's likely not coming until 2026 based on the rumors. And we did have rumors of a thinner redesign coming, but that's also not coming until maybe next year or 2026. So with all that said, those are the five major products we should be expecting at this Apple event. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, and if you did, go ahead and subscribe above. Check out one of those two videos right there. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.